size. Just the top, just the top, yeah. Hey, excuse me. Can I ask you about your sign? Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, my name's Derek, by the way. Pleasure to meet you, Derek. I'm Anya. Hey, Anya. So, can I take a picture of your sign? Oh, thank you. Cool. And uh, can you tell me what it means? Sure. So, this is a Greta Thunberg quote. It says, why should I be studying for a future that may soon be no more? Um, I think it shows a lot about why I'm striking today, about how our youth and our generation are all equally concerned about something that doesn't seem to have an equal amount of alarm level. Like, there's a really low al level of alarm for certain people, especially politicians here. And coming to the strike and hearing the speakers has not only informed us, but it's also showed us why we should continue to strike. Okay. Um, can you tell me what uh, the other side's arguments are? Absolutely. So a lot of the biggest um, arguments that I've heard against it is that either it doesn't impact us, like I come from a small town in the Midwest, so a lot of us either aren't informed about climate change or there aren't a lot of opportunity, so it's a lot of um, apathy there. And some other arguments are that it's not um, economically viable, which um, I think has been impacting our ability to create sustainable alternatives a lot. So I think those would be the two biggest arguments against it, which are both like apathy and like economics. Well, what would you say to those arguments to overcome them? I personally say that in the long term, that the economy isn't going to matter if we're all dead. And I think that our apathy might feel safe and comfortable now, but it's only a matter of time before we're forced to act. I think it's better that we pick up our signs and start striking now before it's too late. Hey, wow, really cool. Thanks thanks for being here, Anya. Well, one last question. Um, what's the best way to get information? For example, how do you know what you know? Yeah, sure, so there are a lot of um, opportunities online. Some, for example, a private school at my old state of Indiana, they have a mandatory environmental science class. So taking environmental science courses at your school or going online and looking for opportunities. For example, Climate Tracker is a youth climate movement that operates internationally and it has a lot of opportunities for journalists both online and, for example, in person, like reporting on the New York City strikes. Um, going to strikes here are also a great way to learn about local opportunities, such as canvassing or talking to city council representatives, which I think is another great way to get involved. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a good day.